Hi, Vanessa here. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to crochet this top Center. here of the shell. Work your V stitch, one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet. So it is made with two pieces. It's worked in this easy lace stitch, and the bottom looks like that. This is a free pattern available on my blog. The links and information is provided in the description box below. It is available in different sizes from extra small to 5X. The printable pattern is also available in my shops. And all the information again is in the description box below. So I use two cakes of the cotton blend. They are 392 yards per cake. This is the color Sugar King, and this is stained glass. For the crochet hook, I'm using a size J, six millimeters, and that's what is recommended with this yarn here. You'll need a pair of scissors, tapestry needle, and a tape measure. Okay, with the two cakes, it is 25 inches wide and 21 inches long. Let's get started. So this pattern is in multiples of nine plus four. So starting with a slip knot. So for me personally, I chained in multiples of nine until I was happy with the width of the piece that will be basically the bust, half of the bust size. And then I stopped with this yarn. It's a cotton blend and it doesn't get, have stretch. So I know that whatever length my chain stitches are is pretty much going to be the length or the width of my piece. So I'm just going to make a little sample and then I'll finish off with the um, actual top to show you how to put it together. Okay, so now you're going to work one double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. Here's the first chain, second, third, and fourth. Yarn over into that fourth chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So these chain stitches count as a double crochet. So the repeat is going to be chain two, skip three stitches and work a V stitch. The V stitch is one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet all into the same stitch. So there's one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet into the same stitch. Chain two, skip three, and then one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And that's the end repeat. Repeat again, chain two, skip three, V stitch in the next stitch, which is one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet into the same stitch. Chain two, skip three, one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. I have one more repeat left. So the foundation row is two double crochets, a V, two double crochets, a V, and then you end with two double crochets on this end. Repeat, chain two, skip three, V stitch in the next, one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet all in the same stitch. Chain two, skip three, and then one double crochet in each of the last two stitches. So 
So now we have our foundation row. We're going to start row one. You can chain three and turn or work a chainless double crochet stitch. I like to work the chainless double crochet stitch. So I've turned my work. I'm going to pull this up to, to the same height that my double crochet would be. Placing my finger here so it doesn't slip off, I'm going to come forward around and then I'm going to insert my hook into that very first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. I'm still holding on to the very first loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So if you don't want to do that, go ahead and just chain three. One double crochet into the next stitch. Into the V stitch, we're going to work a shell stitch. So this shell stitch has a picot stitch in it. So you're going to work two double crochets. Work your picot stitch, which is chain three and then slip stitch to the first chain stitch. Now we're going to work three double crochets. We're still working into the V stitch. One, two, and three. Another pico, three, chain three. Insert your hook into the first chain stitch. You want to work a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. And we're going to complete the shell with two double crochets. One, two. So your shell stitch is two double crochets, a picot stitch, three double crochets, another picot stitch, and then two double crochets, all into this V stitch. The set of two double crochets is always just going to be a set of two double crochets. So work two double crochets over the two double crochets. So the repeat is work your shell stitch and then your two double crochets, your shell stitch, and then you want to end with your two double crochets. So chain two. So two double crochets, chain three, slip stitch to the first chain, three double crochets, chain three, slip stitch into the first chain stitch. So two double crochets, so if you need to slow down the video, go ahead and find that option on your uh, YouTube app or on your computer, but it is a feature that's in YouTube. two double crochets, one in each of the double crochets below, shell stitch, so two double crochets, chain three, slip stitch to the first chain, three double crochets, chain three, slip stitch into the first chain stitch, two double crochets, so the last double crochet is worked into the turning chain here. Okay, 
Now we're ready for row two. Again, you can chain three and turn or work the chainless double crochet stitch. I'm going to work the chainless double crochet stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch, which is the double crochet here. Chain two. So we're going to work a V stitch into the center of the shell. So there's two double crochets, two double crochets, and then a set of three. You're going to work into the center double crochet stitch. So here's the center double crochet stitch. Work your V stitch, which is one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet. Chain two and then one double crochet in each of the double crochets from the previous row. So this is like the foundation row. Right here where we set up for the shells. Chain two. So that's the repeat chain two, V stitch, chain two, and then one double crochet in each of the next double crochet stitches. So find your center and work your V stitch, one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet. Chain two, one double crochet in each of the next double crochet stitches. Chain two, into the center of the shell, work your V-stitch, one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet. Chain two, and here are my last two double crochets. I worked that double crochet here using the chainless double crochet. If you chained three, just work your last double crochet into the third chain of your turning chain. Okay, there's one double crochet and into the last stitch, one double crochet. Again, if you chained three, just work right into the top of the chain three. Okay, so now you just repeat rows one and two until you're happy with the length of your top. Okay, so we're working from the shoulders down to the bottom. And then you wanna make two of those, and then we're going to work on the side seams here. I have my two panels here. I'm ready to sew the sides. So the shells are worked on this side, and then the rows in between are worked on this side. So this is the wrong side, and this is the right side and you can tell by um, your double crochet stitches for the shells. However, as I look at it from far away, this is the right side and you don't see those little peacock stitches. You turn it around, you can see all those peacock stitches. So I'm going to use the wrong side <laughs> as my right side. So you wanna make sure that the right side is facing each other. So you have a couple of options. You can sew from the bottom. So this part here, that's the bottom. The top part is straight. You can sew starting from down here up to the underarm, or you can leave maybe five inches so that you have a split side seam. Okay, I'm just going to sew it all the way up. So before you begin, you can measure out where you wanna stop for your underarm. So I want my armhole depth to be nine inches. And you can follow the pattern for the standard size um, armhole depth for the size you're making. 
I just want it looser, so I'm going to leave nine inches. So right here, where I'm counting six shell stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this row in between the shells, that's where I'm going to place my marker. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the row between the shells, I'm going to place the marker there. So I'm going to work my seam up to the underarm. And I'm just going to work slip stitches. So this was from my working yarn. This is where I stopped. And this is where I'm going to start. Okay, again, your right sides together. So I'm going to insert through this double crochet here. And then on this side, I'm going to find the double crochet here and I'm going to go through right through the top. I'm going right through the top here. Pull through. And then pull through. Okay, so I'm going to go into the next stitch here. So we're working in between the posts of the stitch. If you want, you can just find a space like here and just work right through it. Usually I wouldn't recommend that. However, this is already a lace pattern. So if you have holes, on the seam or gaps, it won't be as noticeable as um, a garment that is solid. I still prefer to work through the stitches, so through the post of the double crochet stitches. Okay, so I'm going to continue until I reach the stitch marker. So if your seam starts to pucker, that means that you don't have enough slip stitches. So you can pull back, either work the slip stitches loosely or work more slip stitches. So I'm going to work up until this row here, so where the stitch marker is. Okay, so fasten off. And then you want to repeat for the other side seam. Six. So I'm going to count six shells down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, and then I'm going to place a marker right in the very next row, which is the row between the shells. I'm going to do the same on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know I held them together on the other side but that was because I couldn't find my stitch marker. <laughs> okay, and that is my nine inches. Okay, so I'm going to work slip stitches all the way to the marker and then fasten off. Okay, so for the shoulder seams, you want to measure out how many inches you want for the width of your neck hole and then make sure you have an even amount of stitches on both sides. So for example, I wanted 12 inches. So this is 12 inches. And then I counted three sections here, one, two, three. And then I placed a marker on this column here. And I did the same for this side. So one, two, three. And then the very next column, 
the two double crochets in between the shells. That's where I placed my markers. Now if you wanted an open shoulder design, you can just attach the very corner and then right here you can just attach about three inches. Okay, so that would give you a open shoulder design, but I'm going to sew mine all the way across. So this is how I like to attach yarn. This helps me reduce the amount of ends I have to weave. I'm going to attach the yarn to the existing tail. And how I like to do that is I grab the new one and then I tie a simple knot, just tie a knot around the tail, okay? And now you grab the tail end from my from the work. So this is this end here. I'm going to tie a knot on the new yarn. Okay. Okay. So here are my two knots, and then I'm going to pull until it's tight. And then I'm going to trim these ends. So now I can start using this without having to attach yarn and end up with two ends. So on this end, you actually have stitches to go through. So I'm going to work through in these three chains. Here's the first one, through that side, and through this side. Second chain, and third chain. Okay, and then this is the next stitch here where we work to shell. So it's a lot easier working on this edge. So I'm going to repeat that across to my stitch marker and then I'm going to fasten off and repeat for the other side of my shoulders. So here you can see the two double crochet stitches. Okay, so I'm going to weave in all of my ends. Okay, I just had the four ends to weave. So here is the neck. Here are the sleeve holes, this side and this side. That's your side seam. And it's sort of like a split side seam just because of the nature of the shell stitches. So I thought that was pretty. Okay, if you added sleeves, you could have a long sleeve sweater. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification button so that you will be notified every time I post a video. I'd love to see your work, so don't forget to tag me on your social media posts at Designs by Vanessa. I'll see you next time.